Depending on what actions you want your Zap to perform, you may need to tell your Zap the specific information you want to move between your apps. This is called mapping your fields, and we'll walk you through step by step. I have a Zap that connects Typeform to Slack. This Zap sends a Slack message each time I get a new response in Typeform, but I have multiple forms in Typeform. So how does Zapier know which of my forms should trigger the Zap? And what about the Slack message? How will it know how to get the messages to the right channel with the right words and details? That's where field mapping comes in. In my trigger, I can select the specific form so that when a new response comes in, Typeform sends Zapier all the responses to that form's question. This is all the information we can use to customize the action field in our Zap, like customizing our Slack message with some of the actual form responses. I wanna send a dynamic Slack message to my team for each response. So I'll include the information from the response, like the responder's name, the date, and other helpful details. This way, my coworkers don't have to find this information on their own. It's all right here in the Slack message they receive. This principle of filling out fields with information from other apps applies to most of the Zaps you'll create. Whether it's telling Zapier which form or add to monitor for responses, what to include in a Slack message, or which information to add to a spreadsheet. Mapping your Zaps fields is how you tell Zapier what you want it to do and allows you to control the work Zapier does for you.